New York City better start stocking up. And they better start stocking up now. We, we, we got careers out here. We got livelihoods. We ain't trying to hurt nobody, but we're going to stand for something, man. How prepared are we as a nation to face the unprecedented challenges that loom over us in the coming days, as the actions of a few threaten to unleash a wave of chaos that could test the resilience of our communities and the strength of our convictions in the principles of freedom and justice? Hello, fellow Americans, patriots, and defenders of freedom and justice across this great nation. Today, we stand at a pivotal moment in our history, a moment that will test our resolve, our unity, and our commitment to the principles that have made the United States the beacon of liberty for the world. I come before you with a message of utmost importance, a situation that demands our immediate attention and action. Across the states, we are facing a crisis that could shake the very foundations of our daily lives. Food shortages. A direct consequence of a grave injustice perpetrated against a man who has tirelessly fought for the American people former President Donald Trump. In a shocking display of overreach and political vendetta, a New York judge has ordered Donald Trump to pay $355 million over fraud allegations and banned him from running companies in the state for three years. This isn't just an attack on a man, it's an attack on the principles of fairness, justice, and the rule of law that our country stands for. In an act of protest and solidarity with President Trump, truck drivers, the backbone of our economy have taken a bold stand. These patriots have refused to deliver shipments to New York City starting this Monday. This decision wasn't made lightly. It comes from a deep sense of injustice over the treatment of a leader who has always put America first. Truckers, who are overwhelmingly supporters of Trump, see this for what it is. Election interference. A blatant attempt to silence and punish a formidable voice of truth and freedom. We've got a tweet here from a true American. A trucker who's out there on the front lines, seeing firsthand what's happening across our nation. This isn't just any message. It's a call to action. A wake-up call for every single one of us who believes in the principles that make America great. So let me share this with you. Chicago One Ray tweets, I'm in Wisconsin and I'm hearing guys refusing loads. This could take longer than a week. My advice for New Yorkers is start stocking up. There's millions of truckers for Trump millions of us. Leave Trump alone. New York City better start stocking up. And they better start stocking up now. I ain't wishing anybody anything. Okay, everybody's on their own with this. These guys are serious. Okay, and this could take longer than a week. We, we, we got careers out here. We got livelihoods. We ain't trying to hurt nobody, but we're going to stand for something, man. We, we stand with Trump, man. I'm, I'm truckers for Trump. Millions of us. Millions of us. Mega baby. See you down the road. Folks, this is more than just a tweet. It's a testament to the solidarity among Americans who are fed up with the status quo, who stand ready to support one of the greatest leaders this country has ever seen. It's a reminder that when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And right now, it's clear that our truckers, the backbone of America, are sending a message loud and clear. They stand with Trump, and it's time for us to stand with them. Let me be clear. The repercussions of these actions will be felt across our nation. Food shortages in our cities and communities are a real possibility. But this is about more than just logistics and supply chains. It's about standing up for what's right. It's about showing that we, as Americans will not stand idly by as the rights and freedoms of our fellow citizens are trampled upon. Now, more than ever, we need to stand together. We need to support our truckers, support President Trump, and show the world that the American spirit cannot be broken. We will fight against tyranny, we will fight for justice, and we will emerge stronger and more united than ever. With the trucker boycott making headlines and the potential for supply chain disruptions becoming more of a reality, it's crucial we talk about what FEMA is urging all of us to stockpile right now. Whether you're new to prepping or you've been doing this for years, it's always a good time to review your supplies and make sure you're ready for whatever comes our way. So, let's dive into the essentials FEMA wants you to have on hand, and I'll throw in a few personal recommendations based on the current situation. Water is numero uno, the absolute top of the list. FEMA 
you know, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, they've got this guideline that you got to have at least one gallon of water per person per day for a minimum of three days. This is for your drinking needs, cooking, and keeping things somewhat civilized with basic sanitation. Now, if you're running a household like mine, a proud family of five, you're going to need to stockpile at least 15 gallons of water to cover your bases. And let me tell you, I take this seriously. I've got my water stored in a cool, dark place. Kind of like a bear preparing for hibernation, you know? And it's not just about storing it and forgetting it. I'm regularly checking on it to ensure it's still in prime condition, because the last thing you want in an emergency is to find out your water supply has gone bad. Next, we're talking food. All right, folks, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of stockpiling food. First off, we're talking about having at least three days' worth of non-perishable food for each person in your household. Now, I'm not just talking about any food. We're talking about the good stuff that'll last and keep you going. Think about it. Canned goods are your best friend here. We're talking vegetables, fruits, beans, and meats. These things don't spoil easily, and they're packed with the nutrients you need to keep your strength up. Now don't overlook dry pasta. It's like gold in your pantry. Boil some water, cook it up, and you've got a meal that'll fill you up and give you energy. And oatmeal? That's your breakfast champion right there. It's easy to make, and you can jazz it up with some of those canned fruits you've got stocked. But here's the kicker, those MREs, meals ready to eat, they're not just for soldiers. These babies are calorie dense, which means they pack the energy you need in a pinch. And the best part? Minimal preparation. You don't need Gordon Ramsay skills to get these ready. Just open and eat. In a situation where you can't cook, these MREs can be a real lifesaver. And let's not forget, folks, a manual can opener. You might have all the canned goods in the world, but without a way to open them, you're looking at a very sad dinner. Or do yourself a favor and get cans with pull tabs. Makes life a whole lot easier. Now, FEMA recommends and urges you to also have some other items, which we will quickly mention right now. An emergency radio with a crank or solar option is invaluable. It keeps you connected to the outside world, providing updates on the situation, weather forecasts, and emergency instructions. The one I have also includes a flashlight and a USB port to charge devices, making it a multi-use tool. A decent first aid kit is non-negotiable. Accidents happen, and in a situation where medical help might not be immediately available, you'll be glad you have it. Make sure it's stocked with the basics, bandages, antiseptics, pain relievers, and any prescription medications you or your family members might need. A whistle might seem simple, but it's a powerful tool for signaling for help. If you're trapped or in a situation where you need to conserve your voice, a whistle can be heard far away and requires minimal effort to use. With the current situation, dust masks, or even better, N95 respirators are recommended. They can help filter out contaminated air, whether it's from smoke, dust, or even viruses. Given the trucker boycott and potential for disruptions, having these on hand is a wise move. Plastic sheeting and duct tape can be used to create a makeshift shelter, repair broken windows, or even seal your home in extreme situations like a biological threat. It's one of those items you might not need often, but when you do, it's invaluable. Moist towelettes, garbage bags, and plastic ties for personal sanitation are a must. If water services are disrupted, maintaining hygiene becomes a challenge. These supplies will help you manage waste and keep clean in less than ideal circumstances. Having a wrench or pliers to turn off utilities can prevent further damage to your home in case of an emergency. And don't forget a can opener for food and a map of your local area in case you need to navigate without GPS. Flashlights and extra batteries, or even better, solar-powered or crank flashlights, ensure you're never left in the dark. The ability to see at night or in power outages is crucial for safety and comfort. Cash, in small denominations, can be a lifesaver in situations where electronic transactions aren't possible. And don't forget copies of important documents like IDs, insurance policies, and bank account records, kept in a waterproof, portable container. My fellow Americans, as we stand united in support of our truckers and in defense of President Trump, we must also prepare ourselves for the challenges that lie ahead. The potential food shortages and disruptions in our supply chain are a stark reminder of the importance of self-reliance and preparedness. It is not just about making a statement. It is about ensuring the safety and well-being of our families and communities. 
I urge each and every one of you to take the necessary steps to stockpile essential supplies, as recommended by FEMA and based on the current situation. Water, non-perishable food, emergency radios, first aid kits, and other critical items are not just suggestions, they are necessities that could make all the difference in the days to come. This is a time for action, for preparedness, and for unity. We must stand together, support our truckers, and show the world that the American spirit is unbreakable. Let us prepare not out of fear, but out of wisdom and a deep sense of responsibility to our families and our nation. Remember, in unity, there is strength. In preparedness, there is security. And in action, there is hope. Let's move forward together, ready for whatever challenges we may face, but always steadfast in our commitment to freedom, justice, and the American way. God bless you all, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you for watching.